Brent here, coming at you from 680 West 20th Street. If you don't know where that's at, it's right in the heart of Yuma, Arizona. Take a walk with me and I'll show you around. This house is on a huge corner lot. It's got a carport here, laundry room here, and then a pretty big backyard. Here's the view from the alley. And it's got a big double gate here and another big double gate right over here. Let's take a look inside. As you walk in the front door, the living room and the kitchen are both on your right. You've got a coat closet and a linen closet. Two bedrooms and two bathrooms on your left. Let's start in the living room. These are the original wood floors. They do need to be sanded down and refinished. There was carpet on here. The carpet was pretty bad, so they wound up removing it. So there's lots of potentials in the flooring in here. Fireplace that was wood burning and is now converted to gas. Lots of bookshelves. The only room in the house with wood paneling. This door goes out to the backyard, and there's also a dog door there. It's the return for the AC system. Next, let's look at the kitchen. It's a fairly good sized kitchen. Plenty of room in the center if you wanted to do a, a removable island, like a, like a cart with a butcher block top on it. electric stove, dishwasher, garbage disposal. The refrigerator does stay. Lots and lots and lots of cabinet space in this one. And a little mini corner desk. All right, let's go down the hall. First bedroom is gonna be on your right. This is just one of the standard bedrooms in the house. Closet does have a gun safe in here and the gun safe will stay. And a wall light on a switch. Hall bathroom, it's a three quarter bath. walk-in shower. This is the master bedroom, which the seller told me was originally two bedrooms that were converted into a master bedroom and a master suite, so it is very good in size. To the right is the closet. Pole and shelf on top and a pole on the bottom. Same thing on this side. Mm -hmm. 
Right across from the closet is the master bath. It's got dual vanities. Painted cabinets. More linen storage on this side. It's a full bath, so it's got a fiberglass tub on the bottom. The tile shower surround. All right, on to the other side of the house. So if you go out the kitchen, there is an addition done on this side. So it drops down to a lower level. This can be used as a utility room here, or you could make it a formal dining if you wanted to. They were using it to iron clothes, it looks like. It's got a back door, which actually goes to the uh, carport. So it comes out to the front, well, side of the house, technically. And then this is the third bedroom. We're gonna call this the green room. It's got a light green paint on the walls. It's got a little closet on this side, then a bigger closet on that side. It's got green carpet. All right, let's go outside. So this steps right out into the carport. Across from the carport is the utility room that has the laundry facilities in it. So technically it's a laundry room. <laughs> it's a one car carport. So you're not gonna fit two cars side by side in here. You're gonna fit one comfortably. Then it's got a side yard over there, and then a backyard here, which is where that dog door goes out into. So it's a fully fenced backyard. The block wall is about five foot, and this chain link's about six. So if you've got a puppy, it should keep it in the yard. Then this side yard over here, actually doubles as an RV parking area. Arizona clothes dryer right there. It's a clothesline, if you didn't know what that was. Storage shed. So they've got the trash bin here because they're cleaning it out. <clears throat> Clean the house out, not the trash bin. Um, <laughs> double gate here into the backyard. And there's also a double gate that I told you about earlier that leads out straight to the front. Uh, when talking to the seller about it, he said that you could open both gates and actually pull in from the road, pull in a small trailer, you know, a boat or a small travel trailer. He said that they'd park their razor back here on this concrete pad and then you can drive right out this side. So it's a full drive through setup. The shade would not stay. The trash can would not stay either. Uh, it does have hookups. So there's water here, along with sewer clean out right here on the right to sprinkler head. And then I asked him about power and he said what they would do is they'd actually run power from the laundry room here out to plug into the travel trailer. So then that would give them uh, power, water, and sewer hookups. All right, that's a wrap here at 680 West 20th Street in Yuma, Arizona. If you don't know where that's at, we're actually in the avenues right off of 20th Street and 7th Avenue, uh, right in the heart of Yuma. This is a three bedroom, two bath house, just under 1500 square feet with a one car carport, a huge side yard with a drive through access for a small RV or a boat or a trailer for side-by-sides. It's got a storage shed out there too. 
great, cute little house in the avenues. Uh, if you have any questions at all about it or you want to put in an offer, uh, please reach out to me, Brent Wofford. I will put my number below. And yeah, thanks again for joining me on this tour and I hope you have a great day.